Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome to City Bus Manager where they've just released the brand new holiday resorts and sightseeing buses DLC. And I think it's time your boy returns back again and creates a new company. Now this DLC adds a bunch of new features and new options and I'm really, really excited to kind of check it out. Not only for the first time, but to also build a brand new company in this brand new DLC. We are no longer focusing on transporting passengers and creating an integrated passenger network or transportation system within the community. No sorry. We're making people go from their hotel to the zoo. Yeah. So, if you enjoy this, if you want me to turn this into a series or want this series to continue, then me, please make sure you smash that like button down below. Don't rely on the recommended tab. Subscribe right now so you get notified. Uh, smash the like button and leave a comment saying, Seniac, you damn fool, play some more and we'll do just that. So, what I'm going to do, you can, I think you can do it in a free play, but I'm going to go into scenarios. Now, in scenarios, you've got the official holiday resorts and sightseeing buses. It doesn't really roll off the tongue, this DLC. Uh, but there's three scenarios in which you can do. The first one is in uh, Portugal, right? Uh, the second one's in France. And the third one, we can pretty much create or choose a city of our choice. Now, I'm going to do this one because it allows me to pick where I want to go. It's Tourist Rush, Chaos in the Vacation Paradise. So, the uh, description of this goal is, In the high season, the Tourist Rush descends on your vacation destination. Hotels are fully booked, and the airports are overcrowded, and the sights are bursting at the seams. Now, it's up to you to build an efficient transportation network to handle the increase in demand while ensuring punctual transfers. Can you master the rush and take your company to the top? You're damn right I can take my company to the top right now. We're going to play this scenario. Now, if you're like me and you're from the UK, you're going to be quite surprised the destination I pick. If you're not from the UK, you're probably thinking, what is even this place right now? I'm going to call my company, by the way, Fools Tours. And we're in Spain. And the place that I want to begin in or create my company is Benidorm. Now, if you're from the UK, you know how hilarious this already is. If you're not from it, basically, it's a place where the British like to go on holiday and it's really cheap. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, boys. Have I been there myself? Yes. It was pretty good. Right, next. <laughs> Let's get into this. So there's a lot of new stuff in this DLC. There's new ways in which you kind of approach things. There's new stuff that you can do. There's even brand new buses that are all pretty much destined towards tours. Now, this is Benidorm. It is a coastal town on the Mediterranean. And it is a big, 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 big tourist destination for the British. There's huge skyscraper hotels, there's carveries on a Sunday, and most evenings you can play bingo. But surrounding Benidorm, there is a bunch of attractions. You've got the zoo over here. Is it Mundo Mar? Which is like the aquarium that have like dolphins and stuff up on the hill over here. Um, and there's a bunch of other little toys, bits and bobs, kind of all intertwined and weaved throughout this town. So first things first then. I need to create a depot. Now, I think I'm going to try and figure out like a central location. Um, I don't want it in the town, but I want it on the outskirts. And I like the idea of this here, maybe. It's, it seems to have good connectivity to the highway, which will be able to get to wherever I need it to get to super quick. So this here has just become my depot. Bam. Right, very good. The premises are now being built. So... Uh, the high season has begun. Oh, I just noticed as well, boys. We've, um... Oh, hold on. Have you got palm trees? Okay, the depot looks different. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, the high season has begun, and your resort is experiencing a massive increase in tourists. Hotels are fully booked, and the demand for shuttle buses is the most popular attractions, uh, to the most popular attractions in the airport at all time. Uh, the challenge is clear. You need to react quickly and build your bus, uh, bi business. I'm about to say busness there. Build your business from scratch to cope with the onslaught. Sign con uh, contracts with hotels. Wow. Okay. That's new. Organize airport transfers and secure the most lucrative contracts uh, to transport thousands of tourists efficiently. But the pressure is on. 
and random events such as illness from overworked employees can prevent you uh, with all the additional challenges. Only those who are flexible and react quickly uh, to unpredictable situations will be able to uh, successfully manage the flood of Taurus. This is the last stuff i got to read, isn't it? Build a strong network, optimize. Okay, sweet. Right, we get it. We get it. So, we first have to build our depot. Now, from the get-go, it's very... It's a lot different. I can see palm trees. The ground's different. Oh, it's a bit sandy at the back. Oh, there's a beach. Okay, I did definitely did not build my depot near the beach. But it's... Oh, there's a wooden shack. Uh, but it's nice to see there is some sea. Sun, sea, and sand. Uh, right, so we've got to build our little depot then. And um, this is not going to be like the hard mode challenge. So I don't need to go literally over the top. We're just going to keep it simple. Now, I'm going to assume it's going to be the same as how I normally build a depot. There's going to be no differences. So we've got a service center and we've got to place down um, a, a desk. So a service desk here. Let's just put it there. And we need at least one armchair. So I'm going to put that just here. Do I need two? Sorry, I need two. Right, that completes that part of the tutorial. Now we need to build an office. So I think first things first, and we're actually going to build a little bit of a corridor. Right? So if I build it three wide and just kind of bring it up by 15. There we go. And off the corridor, we're going to build our office. So spin it right round. Just like that. That will do us. A little dentation there. So we can put some nice little plants down. And we'll build a nice, beautiful door. Boom. Oh, I also need a door here. I'm going to put a tinted door there. So passengers can't, well, customers can't look through. I'm going to do a door. Oh, hold on. That's not a three, is it? That's a four. All right. Excuse me. Delete you. We're going to put a door there. So it's an easy access to the depot from the people working inside. And inside the office, we've got to put at least one standing desk. So I'll put that just there. Right. So now we're going to build a break room. So put you back up, break room, and I think we'll build the break room here. Now, what's this? this? Is a 15. If I take away one, two, three, 12, so I'm doing sixes. Six by six should do us, right? That should do us. Um, I need in the break room to be accessible. It'll be at least one door, and I need uh, one one armchair, one seat. Okay, we'll get you in. Nice, nice. And we need a door on this, so I'll put the door. Here, but I'm going to build a corridor in just a moment, but I'll wait till I've built everything first. So we now need a kitchen, which I'm going to put the kitchen opposite. So another six by six. And we'll get another door down. I put the door, I put the door staggered so they're not all kind of tripping up on themselves over the same entry point. If that makes sense. Um, so in here, we need at least one fridge and one vending machine. So a fridge, bam. A vending machine, bam. All right, the kitchen's done. So now we got to build the bathroom. So bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Where are you? There are you. Right, so bathroom. I'll do another six by six again. And we need a door in the room. Just stagger up there. Uh, we need a toilet. And I think that is it, right? So now I get to buy and build some buses. So let me just finish off the office area so the corridor we're going to build this going all the way down to here now we do have this little extra room there i'm not sure what i'll do with it all the doors are now kind of situated perfectly and in reality i could put another door here for them to walk out from make life a little bit easier for us so a very simplistic depot the bare minimum done and pretty much required to um to kind of get this functional so not too bad not too bad boys um right the next goal then is to get some buses so i think we should start nice and simple oh i just realized in the normal game we don't really have this space to the right so i can actually finally utilize it so street let's build some street all right let's bring that all the way out and let's get some parking spaces down so i can go small Large does go all the way there, but we'll kind of keep it simple with some small ones. And let's say I start here. So if I drop one there, and I mean, I would like to do some trees. I did notice there was palm trees. Do I get, to, oh, you can put palm trees down. 
Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. I like it. Uh, so we'll do a, a space of a two. Because I'm going to do a space of four buses. Actually, I'll do five. Okay, that was not placed correctly. Nope, neither was that. Right, I've got a space for five buses, so I've got room to expand the company. And we'll put down all some plants and stuff eventually to make it look really, really nice. So that's built then. We've got that down. I think I might throw down some palm trees just because we've never been able to do palm trees in the game before. So if I do it like this, a couple little palm trees there. Try and slightly stagger it a little bit. And then you've got some like smaller ones that slightly do tilt. Got these little plants there. Oh, how nice does this look already? What else do we get that's new? Oh, there's more palm trees. Right, do you know what? Scrap those ones. We're playing around with different designs. In a weird way, I like it. <laughs> In a weird way, I like it. Right, I'm getting too sidetracked right now. Let's buy some buses. So for the first time ever, then, I'm going to actually see what buses we can initially buy. So it looks like we can buy the normal buses anyway. And we only have 11 minibuses currently unlocked. But they've got the little icon on there. We've got transfer cart, a transfer cart with a range of 200 kilometers. Oh, that's an electric one. A Dolmus, a T2... Uh, a naf, a naf, nafilo. Is that how you pronounce it? Napillo, nafilo, uh, napillo is what I'm going to call it. That's like the oh, that's like a um, that's a tour bus, isn't it? Right, this is pretty cool. I'm excited to see what it will be like with the solo double deckers and the large buses. That will be interesting. Now I gotta buy two buses, so I want to keep things super cheap. And these tour buses, they do look super cheap. But let's kind of see the differences now. These can carry 16 passengers, and they're 3,600. I could go up to 24 passengers with a Dolmus. Now, I think I'll buy two transfer cars to begin with. Or transfer, yeah, transfer carts. We'll buy two of these because they're so cheap. And we get to give them a color scheme as well. Oh, this is good. Right. What do I color scheme them right now? I could go... Bright red. I could go yellow. I like the idea of yellow. Yellow in the sun. That does sound pretty good, doesn't it? Yellow in the sun. But what style of yellow? I'm not too sure. This will be something that I'll probably mess up as time goes on. And this is actually quite difficult to even implement... A logo. So I'll try my hardest here to try and implement a logo right now. Um, I need images. Images. Right, hold on. I think it's this one. Yeah, baby. Right, we can try our hardest to get a little logo on the bus. You don't get much room on these. This is so everyone knows what company this is i can put them on the roof but i think just on the sides there is is nice enough right falls i'm gonna call it f tour ft for falls tours save locally apply we have two brand new buses that we've never had before in our lives and here they come this is exciting look at them so while they now appear and they park up We've now got to hire our first set of employees. So, we're going to need to hire by the looks of it. So, hire. Oh, I need lockers. Let me place in six lockers first. So, lockers. Uh, oh, I just realized this is a. F no, I'm about to say, is this a four wide corridor? It's not Sunny One, two, three, four, five, six. So, um, staff, hire employees, bus drivers. We need two bus drivers. So, I'm not too bothered about the skill. They will become more skillful as time goes on. We'll start with friendliness. So, one, two. I need to hire a mechanic. Hire you. A researcher. Hire you. Uh, cleaner. Hire you. And service center employee. Hire you. 
that's all the employees you need from the initial start. Right. So, now they're starting to arrive, we then need to build a gas station so we can refuel the buses. So, on the street, uh, the gas station, which is 8,000 big ones, and we build you in. So, if I build you about just here, maybe. Or there. Now, we'll build it there, right on the end. Very good. And then we need to build a bus wash. Actually, you know what? We have to build an extra bit of the street, don't we? Let me reposition you down there. <clears throat> so, a bus wash. I'm only going to need a small one to begin with. So if I build it about there. And then we need to build a lifting platform to repair the buses. So we need a small one of those. And then we've got to build a warehouse. So let me try and attach this. Now, this building is, believe it or not, a hallway. Weird, I know. I've then got to build a warehouse to store the parts to repair the buses. And what I could maybe do... Is that a 6x6? Six 6x6 six? Six six goes there. Okay, that did not work out well. But delete you. Get the hallway to spread down a bit. I can make it all part of the same building. This has actually worked out pretty well. It's almost like I was meant to do it like this. Right? Um, okay, so door... I'm going to have the door in the warehouse in the workshop to lead into the into the warehouse. And then we need in the warehouse some shelving. There we go. So that enables me then if I need to buy any replacement parts, we'll store them there to repair and fix the buses. Oh my goodness, me, this company's looking pretty good already. It really is. So now we finally get to create our very first route yeah baby this is exciting this is exciting so what we do we need to do then well we gotta go to the map or oh, just notice there's a new logo down here hotel transfer orders okay we don't have any orders yet um right so here's our depot then and there's a lot of tourist kind of areas that they want to go to down here there is the odd hotel here and there so we've got to create our very first route. There's touristy stuff everywhere, boys. This is exciting. I'm really excited for this. So our first route, bus route, new route. And we have the ability to either fill, fulfill a public service line, which is Centro de Salud uh, Fortes, which is just over here. And they want to connect to at least one train station, which is not too bad. Or, I could pretty much just create my own route to begin with. Now, the public service line is guaranteed 2,500 big ones a week, no matter what we do. Or, I could risk it for the biscuit, create my own route, and just see what happens. Let's create our own route. Now, I can do a standard bus route. This is actually pretty good. Or, a sightseeing bus route. Now, this is my very own tourist bus company. This is what the company is going to be based on, so... There's no need for standard bus routes. We're going to do a sightseeing bus route. So here's all the hotels by the looks of it. Interesting. So if they're all the hotels, we could kind of in a weird way pick a central location as a hub. And then from there, we take them to where we want them to go. Now, the zoo's up there, which is crazy. So let me zoom right in. Now, I could pick an area that will be the central location to all these hotels. So, the question is, where could I do it? Now, I would kind of like the radius to reach everywhere, but I need to kind of pick a spot. So, what if I utilize this little U-loop here as my main terminus, where the buses start from, and then they sprawl out from there? So, for example, I could go here to here, Right, they're the two stops. I know they're pretty close by, but we use them as the main little UE. Okay. Now, we're going to go from there to there, and then we'll go up this way. But I'm kind of hoping... Oh, hold on. We're in Spain. Which means the other side of the road, right? Does it? Hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Am I doing this right? Okay. 
The awkward one-way system is probably going to kill you, boy. So maybe that's not the best place to start, then. I mean, I'd like to, because the radius is amazing. Um, unless I go this way out. Or unless I just use this main strip here. Now, if I come to here and into there. Oh. Right, okay, I'm just testing some stuff out, boys. Ignore me. Ignore me. We'll start here. And we'll head out this way. I'm not sure if I like it going that way around. There's no way on which I can do a waypoint, is there? No, the waypoint is not going to work. Or well, not like that anyway. Okay, that's just how it's going to have to be, unfortunately. That's just how it's going to have to be. So if I bring him up to there, which is covering a, a wide radius of... I don't know whether taking him directly to the zoo would be a good first shout. So basically, we're doing a tour from the center of Benidorm to the zoo. Now, that could work out fairly well. I'm actually going to delete that stop. So out there, we'll pull in a stop just here. And then off we go. It's going to have to go across all of this, to which I could pick people up from this hotel here. So I could say, meet me at the roundabout. You know what I mean? Or I can actually just meet them outside their hotel. Which is not too bad. And then bring them into the zoo. Now, there is a couple of hotels already at the zoo. So where would be the best point for me to stop? there and then obviously we'll have to take them back to the hotel to which it goes up that way it's a weird route for these uh these buses but well, i'll make them go around the roundabout i know it makes the route a little bit longer but it makes it look a lot better then bringing them down it'll be nice to have another stop here to, to drop them off on the opposite side of the road i don't know why they're not choosing to go down this road uh, same with this one as well. What's going on there? You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play around with it. Leave it as it is, which will then kind of come down here. I want it to go back down to then here, but I'm wondering if there's a way in which I can kind of make it run down here first. I want to see where it kind of drops in, because there might be a way in which. I could add an additional stop just there to pick them up, but it wouldn't make much sense. So. Well, I've got to change my mind from being a passenger line that transports passengers to a sightseeing tour that transports them to an important destination. So it's basically hotels to a tourist attraction zoo, which I'm thinking if I get fully loaded here on the bus, what's the point in this going here? There really isn't. So I might get rid of you. And then get rid of you. Ooh, and they take a different approach and they go down the highway. Do you know what? Yeah. So from here to the zoo, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But if I placed it maybe here, I could probably bring it in. So that is you. So delete you. Right, I get a better radius for the tourist attractions at the zoo. Right, that's not longer than it should. But that's my first sightseeing tour. It transports them from the hotels to the zoo. Is that the zoo? Or is the zoo over here? Oh, no, sorry. I got it wrong. The zoo's over here, guys. Uh, Terra Natura. This is the theme park, isn't it? I am a fool. This is the theme park, not the zoo. The zoo's over here. Well, an idiot. If you were shouting at me in the comment section, I do apologize. But I've now just figured it out. Right, confirm. So we're going to have, we need only need one bus. Whoa, look at the expected passengers. That's really good. Now I could choose it to run every, let's say, 30 minutes. So I could utilize hopefully both of them buses. I'm not sure how long the route is. But let's confirm that. We'll activate it now. And we've got a time jump, so we're going to have to skip to the next day. Right, brand new day. And we're going to assign the first bus. 
Oh, we got a we got a call coming in right now from Plaza de Toros. Uh, hotel transfer order. We need a coach shuttle for tourists who can register daily for the next day's trip. You'll need to plan a suitable route for each evening based on registrations. We expect 114 passengers per day. We pay $25 for each passenger transported. Do you know what? I'm going to confirm this. We'll give it a go. So we must plan and confirm the route uh, after 7 p.m. based on the registered hotels. Right. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. So we don't even know what route we're doing tomorrow. We just know that we're going to need a spare bus. So the more I transfer, the more money I make. So maybe we buy a slightly bigger bus. Maybe I go for the, the Dolmus. Yeah, let's go for the Dolmus right now. Let's buy one of these. Now, these are still a small sightseeing coach kind of styling. Uh, Color-wise, bam, bam, place, decal. Um, right, we, we've got a little bit of freedom now to kind of actually put some logos down. So we'll do one there. And I'll do one here. I don't know why it's doing that weird little glitch, but there we go. One there. So everyone knows it's the Falls Transport Inc. What a weird looking bus, but I absolutely love it. Right. Falls Tours. Save locally. There we go. There we go. And we'll use that bus for that them transfers on the uh, the next day. So let's have a fast forward then, because I don't really know, or, or I, I'm not really sure what to expect. When it comes to this. Oh my goodness me, it's instantly filled up. Now, the only problem from... Oh, okay, we did drop some people off there. So, is there any point in them double stops there? Now, you don't make as much money as a normal bus route because you're not stopping and starting often enough to get people on and off. But you're dropping 16 people off right now straight away at the theme park. Not the zoo. <laughs> and then bringing one person back. So I don't know how much money I'm going to actually make, to be honest with you. There's a huge amount of clientele in certain areas. But other than that, I'm not sure how busy our sightseeing is going to be. So it's coming back. Wait, wasn't we meant to have another stop here? We was meant to, wasn't we? Right, let me edit that route real quick. Uh, edit route. Yeah, we was. So, why did it not stop there? Or did it stop there? Did it stop there? Huh? Why does it disappear when I zoom out? I'm not sure what's going on. But how much money are we making? Okay, we've made 210 euros. Because we're in Spain, boys. Um from the current routes and we've just sold 20 tickets and completed our goal at the same time that's really good so i think it might be worth adding a few extra stops on now because it could potentially bring more people back but the bus is coming back empty which is my biggest concern at the moment so let me go to edit this route again now it's coming back empty so let me edit the route and maybe we will bring it to this hotel so after it gets to du, 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 you, it's hitting up two waypoints, isn't it? No, I don't think it needs this waypoint now. Nor does it need this one. Right? I oh, know. I think it did need some waypoints. Um. So we get to you. It is going to that stop, but I feel like it's not going to that stop, so I'm going to delete it. So from there, we'll bring it back to this hotel. There we go. And then on the way back, I'm going to make it stop here instead. Okay? So... Do I then make it stop at this hotel on the way? Because you might get a few people that want to get off there and get on to go to the zoo. So that will make a bit more sense. 
So if I bring them in this way as well, and then coming out of there to go to there, we utilize this waypoint again. So it follows that road. Right, okay, we've slightly changed it up a bit more. Because the bus is coming back empty. And if we've got an empty bus, it means we're not making any cash. So I think we have to wait till the next day as well for this new updated route to take effect. So there's not a fat lot I can do right now. Not a fat lot your boy can do. Um, so my current goal then is to do 10 tours successfully and also increase my network to 25%. Maybe that increase what I've just did right there might change it. Who knows? But we've got to wait till 7 p.m. We've got to wait till 7 p.m. no matter what anyway um, to see what these transfers are going to be. There is one hotel currently registered with 33 passengers. Okay, that's pretty cool. So depending on how many hotels get registered, depends on how many hotels we're going to transfer or trying to kind of travel to. Ideally, it would be pretty good if there was multiple hotels, but we're in the, they're in the same radius, so you can kind of get them all at once. Now, there is a lot of people downtown right now, isn't there? There really is. So maybe we can slightly edit this route a little bit. I mean, I could insert an additional bus to kind of help us out and make a few more pennies. Now, do we not get subsidiaries? You get 240% on your earnings. So when do we get them? Like, when do we get them? Shouldn't we be getting them now? Oh, I've just scheduled that bus and the other bus is already scheduled to go round. Unless that one will kind of make its way back shortly. We've still got four minutes just yet. But we're making double monies. We're currently making double monies on our sightseeing tour. So that's good. One of these buses will end shortly, I'm assuming. We've completed the tour successfully, which is great. So they're driving around like crazy. Well, that bus is now heading on the way back to the depot. So we'll then assign that as our next one. Oh, Centre de uh, Salute. Um, we're planning an excursion to uh, Festileander. I didn't say that right. On Friday, we'd like to go there. We have a leave at 12. I'd like to spend about six hours there. Uh, the bus may be big enough to... I don't have a bus big enough for that many people. I'm going to have to decline. We're going to have to decline that one, unfortunately. So my next goal then is to carry 249 passengers, which should be a breeze. It should be a bit of a breeze. Oh, that's doing wonders for us. That bus is now heading back to the depot. So you're left now all on your own. Right. Again, we have to wait till the next day before this, this updated route changes. But I'm really impressed already. The railway is calling me right now. Um, I'm going to have to decline that one as well. Sorry. Now, what's the hotel transfer order saying? Ooh, okay. 82 registered people so far. That's interesting. I suppose it's make or break on that, isn't it? It's either you could do really well or you could do really terrible. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Now, I could already see us needing bigger buses from day one. But we should be able to complete this goal anyway, at least. Should be able to at least complete it. Oh, it's picking up 10 on the way back. That's really good. So numbers are starting to increase slightly as they're wanting to come back from the theme park back to their hotels. So that's pretty good to see. That is pretty good to see. All right, off they skadoodle again. Coming back almost full as well. And I'm hoping that will then complete my goal. Yes. And then the next goal is to sell 87 tickets. So I wonder then, is there going to be new stuff that we have to research? Um, oh, hello. So we've got sightseeing uh, and coaches. Uh, double deckers and sightseeing coaches. That's crazy. Um, looking at right around right now, there's audio guide you can install. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? 
that is pretty sweet. Automatic cleaning, automatic washing the buses, refueling. Uh, finally, they've implemented automatic repairs. Where was that in my hard mode series? You know what I mean? Crazy. Oh, this is going to be exciting, isn't it? Oh, they're already complaining about the high passenger volume. Listen, right? I'll figure it out eventually. Right, still only one hotel linked up at the moment. Still only one hotel. Right, that bus is doing its magic. So my bronze goal right now is to accept free hotel transfer orders to complete them successfully every day. We're going to try our best. We are going to try our best. And oh, I didn't, didn't realize we're actually working towards this bronze goal here uh, of type fun. That's interesting, isn't it? Right. Oh, there's a lot of people there at the uh, theme park right now wanting to come back. So everybody we tucked there now wants to return back to their hotels. That's funny, isn't it? It really is. Right. It's 6 p.m. We're not far off the 7 p.m. mark where you have to create that route for tomorrow. And then we get to use our new bus here, which would mean I would need another bus driver if I was to have all three buses coming out at once. So I need a couple new lockers. So if I buy a few more here, does it kind of uh, future-proof me? And then hire employees, bus drivers will hire you. So we got a third one in to drive this bus when needed. Nice. Right, another goal complete. The money's just rolling in at this point. So it's gone 7 p.m. And now we've got the notification for the transfer orders. And we've got to plan this route. So it's the Hotel Palm Beach. And it's just over here. And they, oh, sorry, the Hotel Palm Beach needs to be connected to Plaza de Toros, which is, ah, here. Okay, so that's a pretty simple route I can create. Oh, this, this is really good. I like this. So all it's got to do is go from there to here. Okay, but not like that. And then back again. Is that literally all it's got to do? It doesn't need to do any additional stops, does it? So if I confirm... This is the first time I'm trying it, so I don't know. If I confirm this... Right. I want to use one bus. Let's confirm the order. Okay. And then we just wait until they give us the green light to send those people out. Welcome to Benidorm. We're happy to be taking care of our local traffic from now on. To support you receive on all income. So if that's on all income then, where's my subsidiary money? Hmm. Also, we made a profit so far? Figure that one out. <laughs> right, we're gonna, Oh, hold on. Uh, Terra Um, I'm going to decline for now because I'm not sure what to expect with what's currently going on. Right, the next day. Sightseeing route. Not enough range. Wait, you're not electric, are you? No, refuel them. Um, I'm going to decline for now, guys. Because I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, one of my bus drivers has just phoned in sick. Well, that's kind of sad, isn't it? We're going to have to hire another one now to cover the uh, the shift. That's really annoying. <laughs> so this bus here can hold 24 passengers. There was like 128. So a couple of uh, loops and that should do everybody it needs, hopefully. I'm hoping it's not just in one go. I'm hoping I can do multiple, you know, loops of it, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm hoping it's as simple as that. That's what I'm hoping for. But at least we're making profit. We made a profit on the previous day, so that's not too bad. But bigger buses on that route would make a big difference. So in reality then, we should be now running this new route for the first time, which we actually are. Anybody get off here? I think one person got off. And it will pick some people up on the way back, hopefully. So it does something but not too much. Hmm. 
Not bad, not bad, not bad. And solid cash is now being made. Now you could play around with the ticket prices uh, for sightseeing, short distance, and all that kind of jazz. So a sightseeing day ticket is 15 euros. Oh, no wonder I made so much cash. Oh, this is going to be a lucrative business. If we can get this right, we're going to make some dollar bills. We really are going to make some dollar bills or, or euros because we're in Spain. We're in Spain, but the S is silent. <laughs> right, shut up, Seniac. Right, here is the transfer right now. We'll get you situated. So we've assigned the bigger bus. And we're excited to see that go out when it's ready. Not sure when it's going to go out, but we'll wait. We'll play the waiting game. Come on, Mr. Bus Driver. What time are you going out? Hmm. What time is he going out? I didn't really kind of check. Uh, 11.45. Okay, you, don't you need to get in the bus now, Mr. Bus Driver? Isn't it about time you got in the You got an hour before your route commences. Mr. Bus Driver, what's going on? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Right, he's scheduling out right now. So, we'll see him pop out. There he is. Driving all the way down. And getting ready. So the capacity of that bus is 24 people. So that starts at 11.45 in 15 in-game minutes. Now I wonder if this counts towards my bus network coverage. So I loaded up 24. They're going to pay me 25 per passenger. Oh, do you only do the route once? Oh, you only do the route once. Oh, no. Right, okay. You only do the route once. Right. I did not have enough capacity. I did not have enough capacity on that bus. Right, that was a boo-boo on my end. That was a big boober on my end. I could insert additional buses. But why didn't it like just keep going until it can't go no more? Edit timetable. Like how do I make it do like multiple times? Oh, well, there's no point now, is there? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's now doing the route. There's no point. And now I can't do it because we've got a bus already on the shift. Right, can you come back to the depot, please? <laughs> also, my other bus drivers are not here. I need to hire more bus drivers now. Hire employees, bus drivers. Hire you. Right, the normal sightseeing tour will get done. Oh, there's our commission money from um, the hotel transfer. We assign you again. I was not expecting to just do one trip, if I'm being honest with you. I was not expecting that. That's kind of slightly thrown me off. <laughs> I was not expecting that. But what happens after 7 p.m. now? Because we've got four hotels now registered interest. So how is this going to work? I, I, I think they're a bit... They're barking up the wrong tree right now with me. Because, you know, I'm not ready. Um, I'm not ready, Okay. <clears throat> You're going to have to wait. The biggest bus I could buy for sightseeing is this for 30 passengers. Is that the 30 passengers? Yeah, 30 passengers. You're crazy right now, right? You're crazy. Or can I use normal buses on those routes? Now, that's got me all kinds of intrigued. I don't know. 
So I've got to clean this, I've got to refuel it, and I might as well wash it at the same time. Get it all serviced, ready for the next route. Right, that's back and done what it needs to do. So that's made me... So it's making me 600 every time. Maybe there's not a cap limit on... Like, you know, you have to do it or you fail. Maybe it's just a case of... I'm just going to earn as much as my bus can carry in one journey. Fair enough. But, you know... We could do so much better if I had bigger buses. We're going to have to start thinking about researching some bigger buses in reality, don't we? Right, that bus is still killing the game right now. And we, we've this is the most money we've made so far. It's literally day two, and I've already broken my record profit. Oh, I'm doing so amazing. So we're going to wait till 7 p.m. then to see what now changes with this four hotel update. Do I then have to... I'm going to have to decline, sorry. Um, do we have to re-edit the route every day? Is that how it works? Well, that's going to be interesting. We're going to find out. We are going to find out. So, yeah, it did count towards my coverage, but we're not quite there. We are not quite there right now. But I'm loving these palm trees, boys. These palm trees are beautiful. Right. So... 30 in-game minutes for 7 p.m. And we'll see what it's all about. We'll see what it's all about, baby. Come on. Come on. Show me the roots. Show me the roots. Right, there we go. Got the notification. So, route not planned. Plan route. Yes, we're going to have to do it every day. So, there is to three of the hotels. Where's the other one? You're joking me. Oh my god. Right. So from you to you. To you. To you. To you. To you. That's ridiculous. We're just going to use one bus at the moment. But that's ridiculous. I've planned a return trip in the same way. Did you notice how I did that? Um, oh my goodness me. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Right, clean the bus... You're okay, right? Are you okay? And time jump. Oh, no, I can't time jump because I've got to clean the bus. That's crazy. I like it, though. It's a nice little additional challenge, but that's wild if they expected me that's how it's going to work. Like, my buses aren't capable. I need bigger buses. How much to research, like, a bigger bus? Okay, it's not that expensive. I was to research a coach. Okay, it's not that ridiculous. Maybe that's something that we do in the next episode. So if you guys want to see another episode for me to expand my my tourist bus company, I'm not quite sure what to call it, then um, smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. Don't rely on the recommended tab. Subscribe to see my tourist sightseeing vacation bus company expand, boys. Expand. But until next time, I will see you all soon. So goodbye.